guys hi guys so first of all we're gonna do today two, three four five six seven eight nine piles and yeah i'm gonna um use it like this let's do it like this <laughs> i thought i first want to um throw the dice but i think i'm leaving it like this because i see the turtle right there <laughs> so i'm doing nine pies and um the question is it will be a short reading you know that um otherwise it would take too long for nine piles but i want to do a reading who is missing you yeah and you guys know i always do things differently and um, you know, from Kim Cran, I put together their two decks. <laughs> so that's what we're doing, you know, and I'm going to see who is missing you. So first, oh, we're going to see the piles. First pile is our beautiful turtle, yeah, Geobuki pile. <laughs> Probably a lot of you will take that one. But yeah, choose what, you know, inspires you the most, what you feel most drawn to. Then we have the keyhole that also came out in the personal reading sessions then we have the sad smiley pile three pile four is the magnet pile five is the mathematical symbol like where you count <gasps> this reminds me of this movie guys that you guys um wanted me to watch the soul movie you know where this guy was counting souls <laughs> this reminds me of that like a soul is missing or something. Then we have the light bulb, the aha moment. That's pile six. Pile seven will be the tower, the big house, the big company. Very interesting, right? <laughs> pile seven is the company. That's fun. Then we have our rainbow. Yay, I really love this. You know, the rainbow is pile eight. And pile nine is Libra. So, balance. Make your choice, everyone. <laughs> I love this. This is so funny. This is so funny. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this because nine piles. I mean, that's a lot. But I would just want to draw three cards. And I want to, yeah, just, you know, who is missing you. Okay? So, me, we just do them here. And I draw one by one. So, we're starting with the Geo Bookie. <laughs> I like that. So universe. Palgeo Boogie. Who is missing them? Show me. Palgeo Boogie. Who is missing them? Who from our Geo Boogies wants to come through? Well, that's too much. I'm taking this one because that just fell down. Oh, there are two cards. So we have the fox. Uh-huh. That's earth energy. And then we have the raccoon. No, that's Earth. Oh, both of Earth energy. That's very interesting. Let's get another card to this. Can I see the fox? Can you clarify the fox, please? <laughs> the fox is clarified by the elephant. Can you clarify the raccoon? Okay, so guys, let's see, pile one, who's okay, missing? This is absolutely stunning, you know why? Because we have the raccoon energy. The raccoon energy, you know, is always um, described as an artist, yeah? So this is someone very creative and someone hiding, you know, the raccoon. We have black and white here, so I immediately see that this is the Geobuki, you know, this is yin and yang, this is your other half. <laughs> and your other half is an artist so if this is not a case yeah that's not your pile but i mean that's our um that's the pile for our geo boogies you know this is the pile for our channel <laughs> so I'm if i left that the raccoon came out so this is an artist and i mean that's missing that's sadness you know exactly look at how the cards are matching the only thing here which is colorful is this rose um, so I think they call you their rose. They call you their one. You know, they're missing you. On the other hand, we have the fox and the elephant. So this person, I think that's describing how they're feeling and what they are. So they are an exceptional artist. Um, 
they know about this connection i bet this is one of the you know this is one of our geo boogies they know about this but they're not telling you so here we have the fox and the elephant so strong earth energy and strong fire energy the elephant stands for fire energy and since i know last time we had the two elephants i for sure know look at this it's fitting right in there for sure know your person could be a fire sign um that's leo sagittarius or aries or they could have strong fire in their chart and they are an earth sign or yeah and they have strong fire and earth in their chart earth is taurus virgo capricorn with this fox they're very intelligent yeah i see this person being very intelligent and i also see here the, the color yellow the color yellow is very they are very determined and very um how do you say that they can use things in their surroundings to their advantage and um yeah they're very they're very i feel that they learn how to be confident also i feel that they learn to be confident and this is not a person that's like the elephant you know just jumping in they have a lot of fire in their chart they could do this you know an elephant is just stumbling they just do without thinking so i feel this person um they are a person that is really thinking before they do anything. This is a person that they do, they need to have a strategy before they just walk, before they move forward, before they um, bring their fire to the world. Yeah. Also, an elephant is someone that helps people. Yeah. I see with their art, with their fire, whatever they are an artist. This raccoon tells me this. Whatever they burn for, that's helping people to see the truth. Because the fox is also. Um, a sign of you know sometimes lying or hiding something i don't think this person is lying i think this person is hiding a lot in the dark i also see this with a raccoon so they might even know who you are and they're hiding they're like watching yeah i see here they're watching you they're watching your channel they're watching your what you're doing they're watching your social media i could see this yeah so this person is for sure having an eye on you they are sad because they miss you but they don't let it show and they're slow af because they're the geo boogie they have to think before they make a move they're not like the elephant would come right away the elephant doesn't care about obstacles but this person they think yeah they are a thinker they are fox they have to have a strategy before they do anything so they're missing you wow i mean i wanted to keep it short <laughs> so next one is the keyhole so let's see i like that one let's see what is the keyhole all about who's missing them <gasps> okay the destroyer that's like juni energy <laughs> oh my gosh what's going on don't destroy my decoration well <laughs> don't destroy my decoration so let's see part two who's missing them the moth can i have the moth explained the beaver can i have the Ten of Swords explained. The Two of Wands. Who is this person missing you? Well, with this keyhole, they're having a glimpse of your journey. Like, I also feel that, you know, with this keyhole that they are watching you. I mean, this keyhole always tells me that people are watching. So I'm sure this person is watching you either on social media or yeah, they watch you, they miss you. Um, they cannot be with you right now. I see that here. 
you know. They could be, um, we have again water and, no, oh yeah, water and fire energy, or, or air, no, water and air energy, yeah, water and air energy, so you could be water or air energy, or they have strong water or air in their chart, um, it's not possible for them to make a move, yeah, you see that here, they, they have the two ones, I mean, that's very telling, look at this rainbow, it could be an LGBT, you know, you could be two people of the same sex, yeah, so they have this in mind, you know, they, they, they think about you two together, that you're walking on the same path, actually, you know, but for them, it's nearly impossible right now to make a move, yeah, it's like they keep that in the back of their mind and they think about this connection, the two of you having a path together. Right now you're separated, look at this. But the two of you of someday in the future coming together, but it's not possible for them as of right now. The moth, I feel they are very drawn to the light energy in you. I feel this person is very much in the darkness. You see this beaver is in the darkness. I feel with this beaver, they're working on something that they cannot let go. You know, this beaver um, is this little animal that constantly is um, building their house, building their future, working really hard. It's like um, they're always working. Yeah, When you see a beaver, it's a workaholic, someone who makes plans for the future. And it's like this person yeah, is somehow right now in their life not being able to make any move because they're working too hard. They're... Um, they're very used to stability and I feel this connection with you is something that's out of this world it's something where they are drawn to like a moth to the light yeah they're very drawn to this because it's so different from their from who they are it's so different from them it it gives them color you see that this is the only color here in the deck this is black and white like I feel this person really much not enjoying their life Basically working their ass off for their future, for their goals, for their career, for um, <clears throat> what they have in mind, what they need to present. But actually they are very drawn to this. I think you are a very colorful personality, someone that is very different from who they are. And they see that because they watch you. They get a glimpse. <clears throat> uh, they got a glimpse of you. They watch you. They, they, they want to know what you're doing because they cannot be <clears throat> out of your... How do you say? They cannot draw away from you. They're really drawn in to your colorful personality because they want to be like you. They want to be with you also. Yeah, the two of wands. They see you guys together, actually, even if you are so different from them and they're missing you. Yeah, <clears throat> but they don't know any way to make the connection happening right now. Okay, guys. So that was Pal Keyhole. <laughs> I like that reading. Let's move on with Pile Sad Smiley. Who is missing Pile Sad Smiley, please? Pile Sad Smiley. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Pile Sad Smiley. Who's missing them? Who is this? Who is this? Mm, okay. <clears throat> Can I see the Wheel of Fortune, please? We have the Emperor. And can I see the frog, please? Can you explain the frog? The swan. Wow. Yeah, this is a water sign. Strongly feel very much, very strong water energy. If this is not a water sign that you have in mind, um, this person is like really much in the rain. They're very in their feelings right now. You see this here? They want to offer you this cup. They feel like this black swan. So um, the black swan is always, you know, the swan in general is a symbol of love. Um, this is the king of cups in this deck, which means they feel alone without you. They feel as if they're this black swan someone that doesn't fit in someone who's always always different that's why they are probably in this mood 
of being very sad because they don't know um, how you guys will ever come together. They believe in destiny. I feel this person is really spiritual. Pile three. Yeah, I feel this person is really a spiritual person. Um, they're very much aligned with their feelings, but I'm feeling as of right now, um, they feel all this rain coming down on them. Yeah, with this frog. Um, also with this frog, they have to turn into a prince. And this is uh, what I also see in the black swan. The black swan is always this card of me for me, the black swan, the, the odd one out. They are this frog, you know, maybe people told them they are ugly or they are so different. I don't see them as ugly. I see them as different. And uh, they always knew they had a special um, purpose in this life. Yeah, that they are destined to be the emperor. They are destined to, to be this tall tree, that they are destined to protect the people who are different. So I feel that this person, maybe you are mirroring this person completely. So if you feel like I'm describing you, this is your mirror image. Yeah, this is a person you are destined to be with because they're the same as you. And you guys feel that you want to transfer into this prince because you feel right now you're just this frog. And I feel here that on the spiritual path that you both are on, both will develop from these beautiful <clears throat> black swans into a very white swans, you know, like, or in these black swans that are emperors, you know, both of you are here to teach and to give shelter, you know, with this card to people that are not just the masses, because here I see this tree standing firm and strong on their own. And I think that's what they have to learn. This is what the wheel has to turn right now. It's like day and night. Yeah, they have to gain a lot of wisdom in order that the wheel turns. So I feel this person is an Im mirror image of you. This is your other half. And as you, you both have to come out of this energy of feeling not, in, not good enough. Yeah, that's basically it. You're feeling odd. You're feeling you're this frog. No one wants you. You feel like you have a gift no one wants. You don't want to show your gift to the world. And all of this has to grow. Yeah, All of this has to develop until both of you are these beautiful emperors that help people with their gift. And this is a complete change from day to night. So I feel this person who's missing you, they undergo a big trans transformation in their life right now. You know, a very spiritual transformation. This is all spiritual here. And I think you do the same. This is your mirror. This is your yin to the yang. Your yang to the yin. <laughs> okay. Pile magnet. So if you chose pile magnet, let's see. Who's missing them? Pile magnet. Magnet. I don't even know if that's the saying. <laughs> Oh, oh, I love this, the lovers, the otter. We had the beaver already. The otter is almost the same for me. Um, can I see the otter, please? Can you give me uh, the otter? Oh my gosh, twice. This is your other half again. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a channel for twin flames, so I have every pile of them, of course. Of course. Okay, so we have the otter and the nightingale. I feel those are the two people. I don't think this is one person. I think this is them and this is you or vice versa. So we have on the one hand the nightingale, the air energy. So you could be air sign or they could be air sign. Um, I feel a singer here, someone who has a gift, someone who speaks up. Yeah, um, for me, air energy is always communication. So you might speak about this this journey. You might know about this journey. You sing about this journey. I feel here this nightingale. Um, you know, if you, this is you, your energy. They do art, and within this art, they talk about this connection. Yeah, you two are the same, the same birds, the lovers, and this connection is radiating in their whole bones. Yeah, this person is. F finds this uh, connection absolutely gorgeous. This person is um, in balance, yeah, and they sing about this connection. They sing about this, they talk about this. They're absolutely um, in this, you know. 
I feel air energy. I mean, we have three birds here. So they are free. This person is free in this connection. They're fine. And um, they are drawn like a magnet, you know. This, those are the two people are magnets towards each other. So the universe will bring you guys together. That's what I'm seeing. And on the other hand, we have the order. The order is water energy. So we have water and air. Yeah. And also, again, we have the two, <laughs> the two trees that stand for tall and firm. And I talked about the emperor in the last pile. Where I said the emperor is this tree, it's symbolized in this deck as this firm and tall and alone tree. So what I'm seeing, this is the divine feminine energy also, the moon card. Um, this person is not really aware of the journey. I feel they are in the journey, but they're not really aware of it. Because the moon, they don't know where, where this leads to. I feel it's that the order discovers the nightingale. Yeah, look at this. Because they look there, they're like, oh my gosh, that's my one. Look at this. Uh, this was the tree I'm looking for. Oh my gosh, you know. <laughs> this is like they're drawn to each other like magnets. And they will find each other in this lifetime. Isn't that beautiful? I want to read what the other says. This is so cool. <clears throat> the other. The other is water energy. The same as the um, the beaver. The order is playfulness, contentment. Okay, it's the most joyful creature within the animal spirit deck. The order represents absolute bliss. Order energy is the playfulness of a child. Okay, this is a very innocent person. They have a giddiness and reference for life itself without the presence of doubt. Okay, worry or skepticism. Imagine yourself with a little more order energy. What would life look like? Full of love, needs nothing very joyful okay so this person is an extrovert but with the moon when they know everything you know when the other is like very childlike so they would know about this connection maybe they have a very deep maybe it's the other way around maybe they don't know but they can feel it in their bones in their dna because the moon is always this deep knowing this deep knowing it's like once they see the nightingale they know that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, the order will know. The nightingale is already enlightened about the journey. The nightingale is singing about the lovers and the order once discovering this, they know. So I feel for you guys that either it's the order or the nightingale, whoever you are, the other person is missing you. Okay. Oh, twin flame journey again. I really like this. That's beautiful. So the next one is the the next one is the funny one here that reminded me of this soul movie, you know, where the soul come to earth and find their purpose. This beautiful soul movie. I watched that. So I saw that. <laughs> so it's about finding your purpose. So who is missing? Pile mathematical instrument here. Ooh, don't put the fire out. Okay, we have the bat, the hanged man. Someone that you're not talking to the dragonfly okay so can you explain the hangman the devil energy okay <laughs> and can i see the dragonfly the tiger oh wow i mean i love that <laughs> i love that so I feel this is all one person. I feel this is a very patient person. I mean, we have two, two signs of waiting. So they're patiently waiting for their um, enlightenment, for their, you know, the hangman is always this card of um, transformation for me, getting enlightened. Um, getting signs you know but also being enlightened by the universe so they wait because the next after the 12 comes the 13 which is the death card in tarot which means they wait to their for their transformation but these so two signs very patient person um and that's why you know they're not making a move this person is usually very determined like in their life what's not concerning you they're very analytical 
yeah with this i see very analytical they count their fortunes yeah this is this is a person that has fire in, in their feet <laughs> the devil is a capricorn usually we have the tiger so it's really beautiful so we have earth energy and this is fire energy and we have the fire in their feet so this is the dancer you know i think i think this is big t here but you know um you can always you know put it on your person um this is a person with the devil energy they are bound they are still bound and that's why the hangman is here yeah they're waiting to their transformation because i feel here they're still bound and determined with this tiger um to their professional life yeah i feel here with the devil and the tiger um, a capricorn they're bound to success like this person is not able to live a life without success like they would go down they want they're very determined they want to reach something in life and they're not ready to find love or they're not interested in love until they have not um, fulfilled their success wishes for success. This person is very, very um, with this air energy, very intelligent. Yeah, this is also what this card tells me. They're, um, they're probably very busy in their professional life, as I said this, you know. And this person is missing um, their other half yeah mm, but they're not they're not making any move because they want to have this transformation first yeah i want to also see what the dragonfly and the tiger means the dragonfly is air energy so let's see Where is the dragonfly? There. Master of light and the mind. Mm -hmm. mm, it's a magical creature, yeah. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind. Again, and here we have the symbol of the mind. So this is a person that is not in their feelings. They have fire under their butt, you know, they're very passionate to reach their goals and they are very mind striven. So if their mind, that's what we see here with the hangman, if their mind says, no, it's not time to come forward, they won't come forward, you know. I also see it's a art, it's a perception person, you know. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so the light of wisdom can shine through. So we have here waiting for the wisdom to come in, to come in and we have here waiting on the wisdom. Yeah, so gaining the wisdom. Also here we have water energy, which is um, the feelings, about feelings, about their true feelings. So they're not making a move because they're not in their feeling space. They're just in their determination space right now, in their fire energy. You know, they, they want to spread fire into the world. I feel this person is doing their soul task. They're very passionate. They're very striven um, towards a goal. And they're not leaving this goal behind. Yeah, They're waiting. There needs to be a transformation. Like what Spirit is telling me here that before this person is coming forward, there needs to be a transformation in their professional life. Otherwise, this is not happening. Okay, guys? So, very interesting, right? Wow. What a beautiful reading. So, let's see. The next one is the light bulb. Where are we, Pile 6? These three I still have to do. <laughs> this is cool. Pile light bulb. Who's missing them? I like that. I like for who's missing them. Okay, we have the snake <clears throat> and the four of wands. Can I see what the snake means? Can you explain this snake? Okay, we have the mother of swords, the queen of swords, air sign energy, and can I see the four of wands? That looks like an eye. We have the oh the butterfly that's beautiful. So let me see. Well, this is healing energy for me. You know, this is the earth energy with the snake. 
that's healing like look at this that's like enlightenment and healing this person is very shut off to the world here this person is um, yeah, gaining a light bulb moment. That's why they are the all. Yeah, they're gaining wisdom. The person that is missing you is someone um, who right now is in hermit mode, in retreat. And they cut out this connection. That means this could be an ex. Or this is, this is someone that has drawn away from the public or from the masses. Like they do not message often. Um, you are not in contact with that person. Um, it could be that you watch them, but they're not watching you. They're just in a state of rest. Yeah, they're just. I feel here their their DNA is almost like re like rebuilt. See this? They're healing. They're healing family issues. I feel they're he healing childhood wounds. Is what I'm hearing. They're very drawn back. They're very in their cocoon right now, this person. Yeah, very in their, to their cocoon. They could be air sign because I see a lot of air energy. So Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or they have it strong in their chart. I feel here that this person, what they're doing, they're undergoing a huge transformation. I mean, with this butterfly and this healing. Yeah. We have earth energy and air. So those are two different things. But when you look at this, it's the same. It's like they're healing. Yeah, they're transforming to become this beautiful butterfly. So they had to cut out this connection or, you know, um, what I'm seeing also here, if this is a, a connection that you have never met, um, you know, they're learning the truth, like in retreat, they're learning the truth about the soul connection with you i feel here in this retreat there are they are enlightened they become this beautiful transformed butterfly that's what i'm seeing and it's like they finally see yeah before their eye was you know they could not see and now it's like when they are transformed into this beautiful butterfly when they feel free you know a butterfly for me always feels free it's the energy of freedom, of joy, of um, jumping from one flower to another. That doesn't mean that they are a player. It's just that they become more free in their own um, perception and in their own mind. It's like they have an enlightenment. This is an enlightenment going on to another stage. Um, yeah, this person is changing into a butterfly. So let's see what the butterfly also means so we can look a little bit let's read this the butterfly what does the book says it says undergoing great change and transformation yeah transition since air is the element of the heart this change usually involves relationships or if you love your jobs perhaps your career be extra patient and kind during this time especially if the butterfly is you let solid friends and activities support you like a cocoon. So they are supported. I saw this here. That's beautiful. Yeah. So I see they become this beautiful butterfly. They are enlightened. I feel they get to know the truth now. So there is some spiritual transformation here going on with that person. And this is the person that is missing you. Yeah. Okay. Let's move to the next pile. I think this is very beautiful very beautiful so let's see next one is the company building the tower the company building it's pile seven so guys let's see who is missing you pile seven. Oh, we have the raven that's funny who's missing you <clears throat> okay we have the camel and the horse can i see the rabbit and another animal like how many animals are there okay we have temperance here the fire and the crane and the rabbit on the one hand and we have the horse and the camel and yeah i mean the horse and the camel are both animals who carry weight on their back like the horse carries human the camel carries weight and they have to walk 
you know, they have to help or they help people. And um, this is earth energy and this is fire energy, the camel here. Um, it's very interesting that, you know, the back of the horse is the white and the camel is, it's all black and white. You see this? And then both are the symbol of the crescent moon. This is very interesting. So this person right now, it's like um, the yin and the yang. I feel here also with this temperance card, they're uniting their yin and yang as of right now. They're coming from their feminine energy into, ma into the masculine energy and vice versa. It's like they're learning how to balance out the masculine and the feminine energy. You could also see the horse as the masculine energy and the camel as the feminine energy, but both of them are carriers. Both of them have have people on their back, meaning um, they have people and they, they need to stay maybe in this company. You know, this person has a very important task. You see here this building, it's like a high company. Maybe this person is a CEO, like they carry people on their backs. Like they cannot just go and leave when they want. Um, otherwise they would let down a lot of people and they don't, they are very, look at this, the rabbit is looking towards these things. So this is what for this person is very important. This help to other, for other people. Um, let's see what else the horse is saying and the camel. Yeah. Independent knows oneself. The, the camel can handle absolutely anything as it carries wealth or nourishment within. This creature is self-reliant and handles challenges with ease. So this is how they overcome any challenges. Yeah. Anything they handle very well. Um, the camel represents the ultimate form of bringing opposites into balance, which is also what the temperance card in tarot is. So absolutely. The camel is a wonderful traveler and is especially fond of trips to faraway lands. So this is someone who loves to travel. This is someone who, yeah, they deal with every problem. You know, this could be the CEO of this company. This could be someone that is, um, yeah, have has a highly, yeah, they are seen by people and people need their help. Like they help people. Let's see the rabbit. The rabbit is afraid of everything, overwhelmed and frozen. Yeah, and that's why it says frozen. Problem solver, good listener. Again, we have this person, um, you know. I feel here they're scared to leave this company. You know, they're scared. That's what it is. You know, they they rather um, stay out of balance than to leave their responsibilities behind. I see those two cards as signs of very strong responsibilities. And I see here the rabbit um, not being able to leave this behind. Yeah. And they rather be burned like with this, you know, they rather lower down or yeah, look at this, the crane. Oh my gosh, the crane is, is, um, watering the fire means they're, they're burning their fire low. You see this? The tears are making the fire low, meaning this person would rather um, lower their fire to break out of any of these um, circumstances if they don't feel good, you know, then they would leave those people that they care for. This is a person that's absolutely caught, caught in responsibilities they have a higher status, they are wealthy and they built up that company maybe from the bot, you know, from the bottom up and they're not leaving. They're not going anywhere. They rather, if they have a fire burning inside of them, they rather delay it. They rather like, um, how do you say when you, ah, when you have a fire in the firefighter, you know, they, they firefight their fire, their inner fire in order to be there for the people that need them. Wow. So this person is missing you guys. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? <laughs> wow. So let's see. Now we're having the rainbow. One of my favorite. Um, yeah. Signs. So let's see. Who is this rainbow person? Who is this rainbow person missing? 
Okay. No. Wow. We have the daughter of pentacles and a crocodile. Okay. <laughs> What's the daughter of pentacles? Oh, the mirror image. Okay. I love this. I knew this would come out. Who's that crocodile? <laughs> the brain. Oh my gosh. The one who wants the deers. So those are people. Those are other people. I can tell you right now. You know, let's look at this. We have the rainbow and the deer is protected by the rainbow. How beautiful is that? So this is, um, you know, I completely see Big Tay in the tile again. And when I see the rainbow, I knew he would be in there. So this means for you that this is your other half. Okay, I can tell that. We also have the mirror image from the swan. And swans never stay alone. They are always married. Even if it's not there, the swan belongs to someone. So... This is exactly the mirror image. I see this person very innocent, yeah? Very innocent on their own path because this is a deer. Also very childlike with the, um, you know, the daughters in tarot are always the, the children. So this is a very childlike, innocent soul, very pure with the white swan. Mm, very pure um, right now, learning a lot of things. The pentacles, daughter of pentacles is someone who is learning yeah they're growing up they're learning they're learning new things so they might be involved in studying and going to college um this is someone who also just graduated college so they are on a new path i also see this person is on a new path and with this deer i mean, i mean look at this we have twice the deer so this is confirmation this person is very pure and they're almost childlike and that that's why around them, I feel, around in their environment are a lot of crocodiles that hide. You know, they hide in the water. A lot of bad influences that prey on that deer um, because they want to have this deer because this deer is purity. This deer is so pure and they always want to help other people. And with this swan, they're very graceful. Yeah, And this is like perfect prey for the crocodile so i feel that this the crocodile is they are watched by haters a lot so i could see myself in the deer also you know watched by others a lot you know like when can i swallow that deer you know <laughs> yeah but i see also the people are like the same you know you see here this this could also be the divine feminine and the divine masculine we have water energy here and earth energy so water and earth um and I see that both of them are the same. This is a strong twin flame bond. Both of them very unique, very different. Each one of, the, on, of them is on their own path. They're very childlike. That's exactly our energy. But there are a lot of haters around them. A lot of people that prey on them. Because they are so pure. Yeah, Pureness draws in a lot of bad creatures. And that's what I'm seeing. I don't see this crocodile as being good i see it as prey i see it as um, a creature that is preying on this pureness you know that wants to dim their light so that deer is basically your other half that is missing you who is in the public eye maybe who has a lot of haters you know very interesting i love this oh that was it right no no wait what am i doing we still have the <laughs> We still, where is it now, the rainbow? We still have the Libra. <coughs> Man, now our last reading is coming. So who is missing you, Pal Libra? Who is that person, Pal Libra? Oh! Okay, we have the dolphin. Who is missing you, Pal Libra? A very communicative person. Wow. A lot of colorful energy. Can you explain the dolphin to me? That's too much. <laughs> Can you explain the dolphin? A lot of earth energy. This could be an earth sign or water sign. Very playful. Okay. Death. Okay. Yeah, you're not in communication because the dolphin is a very communicative person. Yeah, they have strong water in their chart, this person. They could be Libra. Yeah, they could be an earth sign, uh, air sign. Libra is an air sign. But 
With this here, um, I feel there has to be balance. There is no balance yet in your connection. And also that justice will be served in this connection. This always tells me justice will be served. So if this is your twin flame, you're going to meet them. If this is your other half, you're going to meet them. Yeah, there is communication coming, but um, they're holding back. They're not communicating to you. They're in their close circle of friends and that's where they are. You, you cannot find them outside of the circle. I feel here they have four best friends or four people. This could be their family that they always hang out. Yeah, four other people with them and um, they're very closed. Like no other person knows anything about this person. They are very playful, very extrovert, very cheerful. They talk about anything, but they don't talk about their inner soul. They don't talk about basically also your connection. Um, yeah. And I'm seeing that, um, you know, this is a very family oriented person. And again, with this, there is this group of people that they always are around. This could be that there are 10 people plus this family that they hang out with and there's no one else. Yeah, this is their circle. This is where they spread their fire and this is um, where they open up about themselves. I feel here, this is also that this person could be part of a community, you know, uh, where they um, sing their song, you know, a dolphin sings their song or they, you know, they are very communicative in this community, but they're not talking about private stuff. And I feel here that your guys' connection, your communication, because this is a dead bird, your communication is off because of that community. Yeah, the community, this community is the problem or the, the thing, the challenge it has to overcome. And that's why there is no communication. This could be a community surrounding them where you would not fit in. And that's why maybe, or, you know, this is maybe their close family. Bond, I also feel like, you know, maybe you have met this person and you guys were playful with each other. And, um, but, you know, the, the, ju the judgment, because this is also the card of judgment for me. So what I see here is that a lot of people in their family and maybe in their inside family, like the four most important people, from, like parents or um, siblings, were judging this connection. And that's why they broke it off. I feel here... It's because of this community, it's because of this family that you guys cannot be together right now because there would be too much judgment. So take it as it resonates. This could be anything, this community. But there are people around them, like very strong connections that they have where they do not or they would not accept this connection. Yeah, And that's why there is no communication right now but they are missing you yeah their higher self wants to tell you this is the person that is missing you so how beautiful was that reading <laughs> and i just saw 444 four, four again on the clock so this this number is haunting our channel so the next reading i want to do is also a 444 four, four reading what it means for you because i mean i'm seeing it everywhere now when i do the readings so it must be important for you guys too okay so this is all what i'm having purple lights i love you take care